Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, my loves. Welcome back, beautiful souls. Shout out to the beautiful Patreon family and the beautiful YouTube members here. I appreciate each and every one of you all evolving spirits and thank you so much for the ones that have come in, have gave your feedback. I see you and I appreciate you. All right. Welcome back to another episode of All Zodiac Sign Readings. Yes, today's topic here is the person on your mind. Yes, let's see about the person here that is on your mind. Come on in. All right, hit the like button as you all come in, please. Thank you. That'd be very much appreciated. And again, shout out to the beautiful souls here that come in and give your shout outs. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get started here, Aries. Let's get you a timestamp regarding the person on your mind. What do we have for my Aries? Welcome back, Aries. Welcome to your wake in tarot. Today's topic here for you, Aries, is the person on your mind. Yes, let's see about the person here that is on your mind, Aries. Show me this person's energy here, please, regarding the person that is on Aries' mind. Wow, we have the Justice card here, Aries, all right? Some of y'all, this person may be a Libra here. We also have the Four of Pentacles. This is Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo energy. So I see you kind of holding back from someone. Someone wants to come in regarding the person here that is on your mind, Aries, and they want to bring you justice towards this relationship or whatever may have transpired here between you two in the past. So you could be rejecting an uh, air sign here or you could be rejecting here a earth sign here, all right, Aries. But there is definitely someone here regarding the person here that is on your mind, Aries. They want to bring you peace, justice to this situation here, all right. Whatever they may have done here, it sounds like someone wants to right their wrong here, all right. Let's see what else. Tell me more about this person here that is on Aries' mind. Tell me more here. Wow, Aries, definitely if the reading is resonating for you so far, hit that like button, Aries. That'd be very much appreciated, all right? Thank you so much. And shout out to the ones that's coming in on the chat. Please hit that like button, loves. That'd be very much appreciated as well, all right? We have the nine of pentacles here, earth element here, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo again. So you all are single here, and this person knows that here, and this person is single here. So it's like, I feel like you all may be more focusing in now on your finances or your career, all right? You may not be focusing in on love right now, or just when it comes to this particular person here that is on your mind. Let's see, let's close out here and see where you're at here, Aries, with this person. Where is Aries at in this situation or circumstance here how does Aries feel about this person here that's coming towards them with this offer here okay wow the will of fortune here is Sagittarius energy here some of y'all this person may be a Sagittarius you're kind of in a space and energy as you may be looking forward to it you know that this offer will come back around again you know this is someone that truly has feelings for you and you know they're not going to go anywhere yeah, you're definitely looking forward to it. Some of you all, this person here could be at a distance from you, Aries. They could be in another city. They could be another state here, all right? But this is definitely someone that you may have talked to from a distance here. But you looking forward to it. You know that sooner or later that justice will provide this relationship or situation here to bring peace to that. All right, and I feel like once this does happen, it's going to pick up very fast here with the Eight of Wands energy here. All right, but wow, regarding the person here on your mind, you definitely have high hopes for this person or you are in the energy of definitely looking forward to it. I feel like some of you all at first maybe was kind of skeptical about it with that Four of Pentacles energy there, but until you were able to actually see this person, I feel like take action in regarding what they were going to do or what they were going to say 
then that is what brought this wheel here to be able to spin again and give this another opportunity for you to all right wow aries so this is what we have for you regarding the person here that is on your mind i definitely hope that helped and gave you some insight there aries definitely if so loves don't forget to like subscribe be sure to definitely adjust your notification bells so that way you all are ready for the next wake and tarot my loves i love you rams Mwah. Wow, yes, I love it, I love it, I love it. Shout out to you, Rams. Thank you so much. Bulls, come on in, Taurus. How are you? I hope all is well, Taurus. We're going to see here about the person here that is on your mind. All right, we're going to see here. What do you need to know about the person here that is on your mind? Grand evening, grand afternoon, or grand rising, whenever you hear the messages today. Thank you again so much for being a part of our community for the ones that are new here. Definitely, if you would love your full readings for each zodiac sign, definitely come on over to the Patreon Soul Family where I do provide all zodiac signs individually. If you would love to check in and get the full reading for each zodiac sign, all right? That link is listed down below Taurus in the description box all right thank you so much i would love to meet you and definitely evolve with you all right so come on in bulls hit the like button that'd be very much appreciated thank you so much i'm just getting the cards here situated and shout out to everyone in the chat all right i appreciate you show some love and hit the like button please so that way we can move forward All right, thank you, thank you. All right, Bulls, let's go ahead and get you a timestamp here and let's see here about this person that is on your mind. All right, what do we have for my Taurus? Welcome back, Taurus. Welcome to your wake in tarot. Today's topic here for you, Taurus, is the person here that is on your mind. Yes, let's see about the person here that is on your mind. Let's see how they feel towards you, what it is that they want to say here regarding the person here that is on your mind. Show me this person's energy here for Taurus. What do we have for the bulls? Oh, damn, Gina, we got the Ace of Wands here, honey. Some of y'all, this could be a fire sign here that is on your mind. This could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries here, Taurus, that is on your mind here. This is someone here that is very compassionate about you. You two are very attractive to each other regarding the person here that is on your mind. All right, some of y'all are looking forward to this new opportunity here with this person as well. All right, wow, we got the Five of Wands here. All right, some of you all regarding the person here that is on your mind, they could be in their head a lot about you or in their head a lot about what may be going on internally with them. They have some other energies here. I feel like because this person is focused on you and what this new opportunity could bring here for you two, there are other individuals. They could be an ex of your person here regarding the person on your mind, or this could just be other family members, people that are trying to intervene, I feel like, with this new opportunity that this person wants to bring towards you. This could be, again, family, friends, people that don't want to see this person be happy or establish a new relationship here. Again, because some of y'all, this could be an ex here or someone that feel like that they have to be in competition with you because your person is now choosing to be with you, okay? Sucks how that sometimes have, goes that way, but whatever, right? We have the world card. Yeah, your person here has closed out a cycle. They have ended a relationship here, all right? And they've learned not only from that experience here, okay? So it definitely looks like someone here is just having a difficult time with letting your person go. But your person here, mainly focus here is on you regarding the person here that is on your mind. Again, they could be a fire sign here, all right? The world card here talks about endings and new beginnings. And again, we got confirmation for the Ace of Wands here. So whoever this person here is that is on your mind, they're just looking forward to being with you, <laughs> all right? So let's see how you feel. Let's close out the reading here towards and let's see how you feel here about this person here wow bull definitely if this resonated for you hit that like button that'd be very much appreciated all right 
show me more about this person here and let me see how does Taurus feel how does bull feel about this person or this energy here where is Taurus at here honey we're here at the two of Pentacles here this is your energy Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Some of y'all, this person may be an earth sign like yourself, bulls. But you're kind of going back and forward. You're trying to balance out your love life and your career here. All right, you may have a lot going on right now on your plate here where you may not be so much focused in on this person or this offer here. And this could be why they're in their head a lot here as well because you may not or giving this person the time or effort like this person may want here. All right, because you may find yourself having to juggle more than one thing right now at this time. You may have a lot going on and this person is not either respecting that or understanding that here. Yeah, we got the Ten of Cups here, family. Okay, you guys have things going on here with your family where, again, like I mentioned, you may be trying to balance your household and balance your career, all right, or just focusing in more on your family, all right? But I do see you, you know maybe wanted to take up the offer but it's just like now you don't have as much time on your plate or space here i feel like let's get one more card here for you bulls one more card for the bulls where are they at in this situation here wow yeah look at that we got the um ace of swords here aka i'm sorry the ace of swords Ooh. The Ace of Swords talks about clarity information that's coming in. So you don't found out the truth about this person here, okay? Now, like I said, you're more focusing in on this, which is an offer here. This could be regarding your career, all right? So you kind of feel like I got to make sure that my money right. I got to make sure that my foundation is right before I go towards this offer here. Because it's like you are aware that you have two offers. You have a romantic partner offer and you have a career offer here or opportunity. So this is why you're kind of in the energy right now or going back and forward or having to juggle. All right. You may see this person go out on a couple of dates with this person here and there. But right now, your main focus here has been your career and your family here okay but wow that is what we have there for you Taurus regarding the person here that is on your mind I love it I love it I definitely hope you two are able to balance out the time and opportunity for each other that was a beautiful connection there bulls wow definitely if that resonated for you Taurus don't forget to like like subscribe we would love to have you here a part of our soul family I appreciate you and if you would love your full readings come on over to Patreon where I do provide full readings for all the zodiac signs as well thank you so much bulls Mwah. wow i love it i love it all right let's keep going here what do we have for my gems come on in hey twinkies what's good come on in gemini yes show some love hit that like button that'd be very much appreciated all right we got all these beautiful souls in here all right show some love i'm here showing up for you this evening hit the like button and show up for me all right all right let's get you a time stamp here jim and let's see about the person here that is on your mind what do we have for my Gemini? Welcome back, Gemini. Welcome to your wake in tarot. Today's topic here for you, Gems, is the person on your mind. Yes, let's see about the person here, Gems, that is on your mind right now. Let's see what do my Twinkies need to know about the person here that is on their mind. What do Gemini need to know about the person here that is on their mind? Let's see what we have here for you. Wow, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Damn, Gina. This person is worried about how you two can start a family and a build a foundation together. All right, this is them like imagining you two being together and having a child together and having a beautiful home together here. So it's like this person want to put their five of pentacles with your five of pentacles here, gems, okay? Some of y'all, this person here could be an earth sign here, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here regarding the person on your mind here, gems. Wow, hit that like button, gems, if it's resonating with you so far. I love it. We have here the Queen of Wands. Now, some of y'all, this person could be a fire sign. 
They could be your opposite zodiac sign, your gems. That could be a Sagittarius, all right, a Leo or an Aries here, okay? Particularly Leo energy here with the Queen of Wands. This is someone that is very attractive here, okay? Or well, this person see you as very attractive here, okay? You both see each other as very attractive. Let's just say it for what it is, okay? This person sees you as their queen or their king here, gems and gay. Wow, let's see what else here. Eight of Wands, wow. Some of y'all, this person may be at a distance from you. You may met this person online and they're just so excited to meet you here in person, all right, regarding the person on your mind here, uh, again, this could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, an Aries, or an Earth sign here, a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo, regarding the person here that is on your mind. All right, so let's see what is this communication here with the Eight of Wands that's going to be coming in here towards you. Clarify the Eight of Wands here for gems. Clarify the Eight of Wands here. Wow, gems, I love it. We got the Princess of Wands. Yeah, you're definitely about to get some communication from this person here. This person definitely watches you as well, or they may be observing maybe pictures that you may post online if you have a social media account here, all right? But this person is definitely looking forward to meeting you in person, okay? So let's see how you feel regarding the person here that is on your mind. How does Gemini feel about this person here that is on their mind? Where is Gemini at in this reading here today? How do they feel about the person here that is on their minds? Show me this energy here. All right, we got the magician. You all forward and she, you down. All right, you got your one out. You willingly to manifest a new opportunity with this person here. They could be an Aries here or Aquarius here for some of you all. All right. Yeah, look at that. Some of y'all, this person may be a little obsessed with you, okay? We got the devil card coming out here. That's also Capricorn energy there as well. Some of y'all, this person may be a Capricorn. Now, with the Four of Swords here, this is something that, again, you had to meditate on. You had to think about this to see if that this is what you wanted here. This is your energy or your element here. Again, Gemini energy, Aquarius, or even Libra energy here for some of you all. All right, but this was something here that you had to really take out the time and see if this is what you wanted because you know that you could manifest and have the potential here with this person. But I feel like because this person may have had a past or because you, of course, may have had a past here, you could have just recently got up out of a committed relationship or marriage here. So it was something that you had to heal and, you know, restore your energy here from. All right. But I feel like now that you are in a better place, you're going to take upon this person's offer here that is on your mind. OK, wow, gems. I love it. Definitely. If you love it again, don't forget to like, like, subscribe, gems. We would love to have you here if you're new. And again, if you would love my full readings for all Zodiac signs, come on over to Patreon. Yes, that is where I do upload all the Zodiac sign readings for their full reading individually. All right. Thank you so much, Gems. I appreciate you. Mwah. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love it. Keep it coming, Spirit. Count Syrian. Come on in, Count Sir. How's you doing? Come on in, water babies. What's good, crabs? Let's see what we have here for you. Shout out to all the beautiful souls in the chat. If you're commenting down below, all right, make sure that you are also showing some love and hitting the like button, all right? If you're coming in, you're welcoming your space and energy here. Show some love, show some respect, and hit the like button, all right? That is very much appreciated to me, all right? Thank you so much for coming into my space. So at our courtesy, hit the like button and show some love, all right? All right, Count Syrian, let's get you a timestamp here and let's see about the person here that is on your mind. All right. What do we have for my Count Syrian? Welcome back, Cancer. Welcome to your Wake and Tarot. Today's topic here for you, Cancer, is the person on your mind. Yes, let's see about the person here that is on Count Syrian's mind here. Show me this person's energy here, please. Wow, we have here the Queen of Wands, okay? Ooh, I want to say the Queen of Pentacles. So some of you all, this is a fire sign here that's on your mind. This could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries, or this person just sees you very attractive here. 
all right? That could be a Leo here as well, Cancer, all right? Others of you all, this person, again, could be an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. But someone sees you as their queen or their king, all right? Someone thinks very highly here of you regarding the person that is on your mind. Wow, we got the Two of Pentacles here, more Earth element here. It's like this person here, uh, they could also have a family or be established somewhere. Some of you all, this person may be in and out of a relationship, all right, uh, of what they may have already had established in the past. All right, someone here, I feel like regarding the person on your mind is trying to balance their love life and their career. All right, so someone may be trying to balance that with you or wanting to give you that time and also making sure to, you know, take care of their business here. All right, but let's see why is this person in a two of pentacles energy here. Let's see what are they juggling or trying to balance out here. Clarify the two of pentacles here for Count Siren's person that is on their mind, please. Why do we have the two of pentacles here for Count Siren's person or energy that they are exchanging energies with here? Wow, they're definitely watching you here, okay? This could be an air sign here. For others of you all, this could be Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra here. And then we also have the King of Wands. Remember, I heard intuitively in my consciousness, I heard the Queen of Wands. This person see you as a match, all right? And others of you all, there could be a third party situation that has happened here. Because I mentioned the Queen of Wands, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles, and then we have the King of Wands, okay? Someone here knows that they have to sooner or later take action towards you, I feel like, Count Siren, because whoever this person that they were with here in the past, this could be the mother here or the father of their child. This could be a queen or a king here, or this could even be someone that they were married to here, Count Siren, in the past, okay? And now they have realized, I feel like, through watching you, okay, they're like, I got to get up off this, I got to get out of this throne. You see this man standing up? You see this king is standing up? He's not sitting down. He's like, man, I can't no longer watch Count Siren over here. I got to make a decision here because I can't keep juggling two people. All right, is what I'm also picking up here, okay? So someone here, I don't know if this person is separated from this Queen of Pentacles or King of Pentacles here, if they're still in a marriage or divorce, but they are definitely having some type of exchange of energy still with this person for them to show up here. So, wow, let's see how you feel about all of this, Count Siri. Let's see about how do you feel about this person here that is on your mind. Wow, definitely if it resonated for you so far, Count Siri, and again, hit that like button, loves. That'd be very much appreciated, Count Siri, all right? Let's see here. Where is Count Siri and Ed in this reading here? How do they feel? How do they feel about all of this here? Show me Count Syrian's energy here, please, and thank you. Hi, Count Syrian. Welcome, welcome. What do we have here for my crabs? Where are they at in this energy? How do they feel? How do Count Syrian feel about this person here that is on their mind? How does Count Syrian feel about this person here? Wow, we have the Page of Pentacles here, okay? It looks like you're willing to bring something here to the table as well or accepting this person's offer here. Yeah, we got justice here. Some of you all feel like this person here will be fair and give you the justice here that you need. Some of you all, this person here may be a Libra here, and you're all about fairness. If there can't be balance here within this relationship or connection, you're not wanting anything to do with it here. Yeah, because you yourself has been through relationships or even a marriage here in the past that it became very unhealthy here. Some of you all, you were with the Capricorn here in your past here. But because you are the way and now of your own experience when it came to relationship or a committed relationship, you want nothing for the most but justice, okay? I feel like you are making this be known to this person is why they maybe was juggling at first because they knew that they had to come to you in what you are expecting from this person here. So this is an opportunity here where this person has to make a decision here. I feel like you're Count Siren, all right? Wow, oh my goodness, I love it, Count Siren. Definitely if they gave you some insight here, on what you maybe was already intuitively picking up about this person, right? Definitely don't forget to like, like, subscribe, Counselor. We would love to have you here, part of our soul family. 
And definitely, if you're new here, come on over to the Patreon. That is where I do provide full readings. All right, yes, for all the zodiac signs. So definitely, if that's something that you're interested in, that link is down below, Count Syrian, for Patreon in the description box, my loves. All right, thank you so much. Mwah. Wow, I love it, Count Syrian. I definitely wish you the best with that situation, okay? Leos, come on in, lions. How are you? Shout out to the Leos coming through with the come through. Shout out to all the beautiful souls in the chat. I appreciate you. Come on in. Please hit that like button, loves. That would be very much appreciated as you all are coming in and commenting down below. I would love to continue to keep the chat box open. But if we're not, you know, coming in and appreciating the content creator and showing love, but you're in here chatting up and putting messages in the chat box, at least show love to the creator or the content creator here, which is me. All right. Thank you. That'd be very much appreciated. Hit the like button. All right, Leos. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Let's get you a timestamp for Leos. And let's see about the person here that is on your mind. What do we have for Leos? Let's see what we have here for my Leos. What do we have for my Leos? Welcome back, Leos. Welcome to your wake and tarot. Today's topic here for you, Leos, is the person on your mind. Yes, let's see about the person here that is on your mind. Show me this person's energy here, please. What do we have for the person that is on Leo's mind here? Wow, we have the five of pentacles here, Leo's. And this person is watching you, whoever this person here is that is on your mind. They want to give you an offer here as well with this person's hand out with the pentacle here. Some of y'all, this person is actually manifesting you or at least trying to. They could be making a wish. This reminds me of a wishing well here. You know how you could throw a penny or a nickel or a dime down in a wishing well, okay? That's kind of reminding me of that here. So someone definitely is seeing you as wish for fulfillment here or always wish to be with someone like you here, okay? Some of you all, this person that is on your mind, Leos, could be an earth sign here, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. Wow, lions. All right, all right. Let's get into it, loves. Hit that like button, Leos. That'd be very much appreciated. Wow, why are you coming up and showing up a little uh guarded here, okay, with your hand on your hip and shit, okay? This is your energy here, fire elements, okay? Leo, some of y'all, this person could be a fire sign like yourself. That could be a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo here. But I do show you kind of showing up, guarding yourself from this person or this offer here. I feel like you're already aware of this person just by how your energy here is. All right, this could have been someone from your past here, of course, because they're watching you. All right, but this is someone that you may have already exchanged energies here with once before regarding the person here that is on your mind. Let's see about the Five of Pentacles energy here. Let's see why this person here that is on your mind feels left out in the codes here. Why does this person here for Leo's feel left out in the codes here? Wow, I'm loving the messages here that's coming out here for you, Lions. Shout out to everyone that is in the chat. Again, show some love. Show some love. Hit the like button. Let's see here. Oh, okay. That card wanted to jump out on the floor. Give me one second, Lions. Let's see. What is this Five of Pentacles energy here? Wow. The Eight of Swords. Okay. Some of y'all, this person here could be an air sign here. Like yourself. Oh, not, nah, not like yourself. Okay. Okay, well, some of y'all may have air placements in your chart as a rising, a Venus, or a moon, okay? Uh, this here, again, is Aquarius energy here, Gemini, or Libra energy here as well, all right? But this is someone, the reason why they felt left out in the codes here, because this person is aware of what they've done, because clearly you wouldn't be showing up here with your hand on your hip and getting ready to pull out your whole sword and guard here, 
All right. So this is definitely someone that may have utilized one of these swords here and may have portrayed you here once before in the past. You may just not simply trust this person here. Okay. Is why you're having to guard yourself here in the seven of ones energy here. And this person is aware of that because they're still holding this and hanging this over their head here in the eight of swords energy because that talks about being stuck. Right. You can see all the hairs that are pulled and wrapped around the swords there because this is an energy where they still feel stuck in the situation because they either haven't addressed it with themselves or haven't brought this to your attention here or apologized to you. And I feel like because that has not took place, this is why you are still showing up in this energy of guarding yourself from this person here. OK, so let's see how you feel about this person here as we close out the reading here today. How does Lion feel about this person here? Where is Leo at in the reading here? How does Leo feel about the person here that is on their mind? Wow, Lions. Oh my goodness. Definitely if it's resonating with you, hit that like button, loves. That'd be very much appreciated. Let's see where you're at here. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune here. I feel like rather you may know this now or later, all right, but there is going to be another opportunity for this relationship here, whether you want to hear this or not, all right? Uh, the major arcana card is here, and even you are seeing this or knowing this here because of the type of connection here that you do have always had here, all right? So something here is going to be able to work out in your favor regarding this person or this situation here, even if that is just simply bringing peace to this relationship here or this connection with this person here. Yeah, look at you. Princess of, well, this is basically the page of pentacles here, okay? So I feel like this is definitely going to be a new opportunity for you when you both are in a better situation or a better place, all right? I feel like right now is not the perfect timing for you, but clearly you two still think about each other a lot, okay? You still both think about, okay, where this relationship can go, how we could, you know, restore or replenish this relationship. What are some things that we can do to make it better? I do see that coming back around. I feel like time apart from each other is what's going to help you to both to evolve and allow yourself to grow from your own experiences so you can bring them back together and be in a much better place here. I feel like for some of y'all, even this person may have felt like at the past, it wasn't the right time, okay? Clearly, this person still had some healing of themselves to do is why possibly they may have hurt you the way that they did as well. I feel like relationships from their past, they didn't close out successfully or as they should have and it may have affected and brought over into the relationship here with you leos is why there may have been a difficult time or a challenging relationship here between you two okay but i do see the universe bringing this situation back around once time allows healing for you too okay wow leos oh my goodness i love it i love it i love it i love it i love seeing messages like that that comes out all right definitely if you love it leos again don't forget to like like subscribe if you are new here we would love to have you leos a part of our soul family definitely be sure to adjust your notification bells for the next live streams that i do here as well and if you would love your full reading leos come on over to patreon where i do upload full readings readings of all the zodiac signs okay thank you so much lions Mwah. wow i love it i definitely wish you and that person the best all right virgos come on in virgos what's good come through with the come through virgos happy birthday yes virgos happy happy birthday happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Virgos. I see you coming through. Yes, show some love. Hit the like button. Shout out to everyone that's in the chat. Thank you all so much. Show some love if you are coming in. Dust your feet off. Hit the like button. All right, that'll be very much appreciated. We'll pause for the cause a little bit so we can get some love here. We can move forward with some giving even exchange energy. And also that helps bring in more positive readings when we're coming in with giving even exchange energy and showing love. I'm here showing up for you, showing love. Reciprocate, hit the like button so that way we could get positive readings, okay? Everything has a cause and effect, right? Right? 
person, if you're not giving out love, if you're not appreciate being appreciative of what is around you and what's being given to you, and especially for tarot readers, if you're not being appreciative of the messages that is bringing enlightenment for you, okay, uh, how can you expect anything else to work out in your life? Okay, if you're not even want to show appreciative or show love or hit the like button. I'm just saying, we got to start being real and making shit make sense, okay? Okay, I'm just saying. Now, Virgos, let's get into your messages here, Virgos. Thank you so much. I thank you so much for showing love, Virgos. Let's see here about the person that is on your mind. Let's get a timestamp here, Virgos, and see about the person on your mind. What do we have for my Virgos? Welcome back, Virgos. Welcome to your Awake in Tarot. Today's topic here for you, Virgos, is the person on your mind, Virgos. Yes. Let's see about this person here that is on your mind. And happy birthday, Virgos. Happy belated birthday. Happy early birthday. All right. And happy birthday, Virgos. I wish you all peace, love, and abundance. All right. So let's see about this person on your mind. Let's see who is this that you have on your mind, Virgos. Yes, Virgos. Hit the like button, loves, as you all come in. That'd be very much appreciated. Show me this person's energy here that is on Virgo's mind here. What do Virgo need to know about this person and their energy here, please? Wow, we have the chariot here, Count Syrian energy here, Virgo. Some of you all, this person could be a water sign or a cancer here, particularly. All right, I feel like the person here that is on your mind, they're getting ready to haul ass. All right, some of y'all, this person may be at a distance from you, Virgos. All right, so they may plan on traveling towards you, okay? But they're definitely ready to leave back whatever have happened or transpired with an ex or a past relationship or just the environment that this person used to live in. They're ready to go, okay? They're ready to jump the fucking ship. They're ready to haul fucking ass, okay? Someone has had it to the top. Someone had had a breaking point here, it looks like, and they're they're ready to move forward to your Virgos with you, okay? Ooh, tell me more. Yeah, look at that, the page of wands. I told you, some of y'all, this person may be at a distance from you, okay? They're literally having to get on a, dry, a dragon here to get to your ass, okay? Some of y'all, this person here may be a fire sign Virgos. They could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries here, okay? Oh my goodness, Virgos. Definitely, if it's resonating for you, loves, hit that like button, Okay, let's get into this. All right, some of y'all, this person may be new, of course, here because they are removing themselves from some type of uh, space and energy from their past that they now see that they don't no longer resonate with or they may have outgrown this environment or these people that they may have been in relationships here with as well. So they're looking for something that's going to be more compassionate and more desirable to them. And I feel like this person here sees that in you, okay? So you're also going to be getting some contact and some information here from this person as well, Virgo, that is on your mind. Yes, I love it. All right. Well, let's see where you're at in this situation or circumstance here, Virgo. Let's see how you feel about this person here how does virgo feel about this person here show me virgo's energy here regarding this person here that is on their mind how does virgo feel about this water or fire sign here for some of you all that is on your mind show me this person's energy here please show me this person's energy here that is on virgo's mind Mm, we got the page of ones. You're all for it as well. This is definitely giving me some new vibes. So some of y'all, this is someone totally new. Now, you may have been talking to this person, doing a lot of FaceTiming, um, talking to this person online or over the phone. But I feel like you two are now about to meet in person for some of you all, or you're just now about to take things to the next level, taking things to the next step that you now know how each other feel towards this connection here, okay? Because there's a lot of attract 
messiness here. There's a lot of compassion in here between you two. You two definitely can't keep your hands off each other or you won't be, okay? But you definitely are showing up. Like, look, you got the prince here and then you have the princess here, Virgos. Oh, so sweet. And this is what's giving me the energy of this being someone new, all right? Because the prince and the princesses in this deck is the youngest energy in the deck, meaning that that could represent a new opportunity, that could represent a new idea, a new way of of enlightenment here and also this could represent communication all right so you definitely have someone coming in that you are thinking about and that is on your mind here again this could be a fire or water sign here but you definitely both feel the same way about each other here virgos oh so sweet i love it virgos definitely if you love it again don't forget to like like subscribe we would love to have you here virgos a part of our soul family and if you as well would love your full reading come on over to patreon where I do provide four readings for all the zodiac signs, all right? Thank you so much, Virgos. Mwah. Wow, I freaking love it. Oh my goodness, I'm loving the messages here. Yes, I'm loving it. Guys, keep going and showing love so we can keep getting these beautiful messages for you, okay? I am all for it. Come on in, Libra. Hi, how are you? Shout out to the Libra Nation. Stand the fuck up. Come on in. Was good, Libras. Come through with the come through. Shout out to the soul family, the soul tribe, the beautiful evolving spirits that are in the chat, gang, gang. And shout out to my beautiful Patreon soul family, all right? I know this is a pre-recorded uh, reading for you all for the All Zodiac Sign readings, but I always want to make sure that I know some of you all come in here when I'm not live. Uh, you come to the pre-recorded All Zodiac Sign readings. So I want to also say thank you for the ones that have came through as far as the soul tribe beautiful souls and is giving love i appreciate you all right so come on in libra let's see about this person here that is on your mind all right let's get you a time stamp here what do we have for my libra welcome back libra welcome to your wake in tarot today's topic here for you libra is the person here that is on your mind, Libra. Yes, let's see about the person here that is on your mind. What do Libra placements here need to know about the person that is on their mind? Show me this person's energy here, please, regarding the person that is on Libra's mind. Wow, Libra, this person may haven't made any moves yet, but they're steady watching you, okay? Some of you all, this could be someone new here that is watching you. All right, this could be an air sign like yourself, Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here, but you definitely have someone here that is watching you, okay? Uh, they may be trying to learn something from you, or you may be inspiring this person here, okay? But they're definitely watching, maybe trying to figure out what information here that they can get from you here as well, okay? Yeah, they're ready to make a decision here, okay? They already feel like they have the world in their hand when they think about you here, okay? Or is it that you feel this way too okay with this two of wands energy here i feel like you both honestly are watching each other here okay let's see what else about the person here that's on your mind here libra oh we got the four of cups look at that do you see that person do you see that eye right there this is what i'm picking up okay intuitively i'm glad that's confirmation for me and it definitely is confirmation for you all libra you definitely have some eyes on you well what else is new right libra okay but there is someone particularly here they could be a counselor with the four of cups here but you definitely have someone that is watching and eyeing you here okay someone feels like that they have may miss that on the opportunity with you once before in the past so they want to come in and make up with that opportunity here okay some of you all you may be aware of this person and i'm also picking up here some of y'all that this person is new okay so wow libra let's see how you feel towards this person here let's see where you are at in this reading here and how do you feel about the person here that is on your mind show me how does libra here feel about this person here that is on their mind Wow, Libra, definitely if the reading here is resonating for you, hit that like button, Libra. That'd be very much appreciated, loves. Thank you. Clarify Libra's energy here. Where are they at in this reading here? How do Libra feel towards this person that is on their mind? 
How does Libra here feel about the person that is on their mind, please, Spirit? Okay, we have the Magician card here. All these cards fell out. Aries energy here, Libra energy as well, and Aquarius energy for me as a reader. So you're kind of, you know, looking forward to it, but your main focus here as well is trying to manifest, I feel like, what makes you more happy here? Yeah, because you want commitment here. Taurus energy here. Some of y'all, this person may be a Taurus here. You want commitment here. Leo energy here because you've been through your own obstacles and challenges here as well. You know what type of relationship you want and you now know your worth, of course, right? You've been working towards what it is that you're wanting to manifest here. I feel like you've mainly been focused in on yourself and rebuilding and restoring your energy your heart for yourself here yeah so it may have been difficult for you to kind of balance your love life and your career and things of that sort because you may feel like you have a lot on your plate and from what you had to remove yourself out of from your past you're now trying to focus more when it comes to your foundation or what that means to you and how you're wanting to manifest and build that for yourself yeah, because it's been a long time coming here, okay? With the Nine of Wands energy here, some of y'all, this person could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries here. But the Nine of Wands talks about wrapping up situations and circumstances that you may feel like were a burden to you or overwhelming to you is where I feel like more of a place where you're at with this person here on your mind. Wow, Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, this is what you know I feel like is coming towards you and what you're trying to prepare yourself for. Uh, you do see potential with this person on your mind, but you're, again, more focusing in on making sure that your foundation and just you is straight here, okay? Wow, I love it, Libras. Definitely, if you love it and that gave you some insight here regarding the person here that is on your mind, definitely don't forget to like, subscribe. We would love to have you here, part of our soul family. And definitely, if you love the reading, come on over to Patreon where you can get your full readings uploaded for all the zodiac signs as well on patreon so definitely if that's something that you're interested in libra that link is down below on the description box okay thank you so much libra i appreciate you Mwah. wow i love it i love it scorpios come on in scorps i know you guys are already secretly in here okay i already know how you move scorpios welcome welcome Hit that like button, Scorpios, as you all come in, please. That'd be very much appreciated. Shout out to all the beautiful souls again in the chats. Definitely don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and set your notification bell so you can be ready for the next All Zodiac Sign reading and or when I go live on this platform for Wake and Tarot. All right, so let's get you a time stamp here, Scorps, and let's see about the person that is on your mind, all right? What do we have for my Scorpios? Welcome back, Scorpios. Welcome to your Awake in Tarot. Today's topic here for you, Scorpios, is the person that is on your mind, Scorpios. Yes. Let's see about this person here that is on your mind. Show me this person's energy here that is on Scorpio's mind here, please. Wow, we have the Ten of Swords here, Scorpio. So whoever this person here is that is on your mind, they don't finally put a relationship here or a chapter here from their past to an end here. They're no longer going to settle with getting portrayed or mistreated here in whatever relationship or situation or circumstance that they were in in the past. They're now putting that past them. All right, this could be an air sign for some of you all. Scorpios, that's on your mind. This could be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here, okay? Wow, yeah, because they don't found a new thing, okay? They see love within you. You really tap into this person spiritually here as well. And this is what I feel like this person loves about you or find very attractive to you on how you make this person here feel emotionally here with the cup and water energy here and also spiritual here as well some of you all scorpio this person could be a water sign like yourself they could be a cancer a pisces or a scorpio here 
Wow, yes, we got the Emperor, the Vine Masculine energy here. This is also Aries energy here, an Aquarius energy for the Emperor for me as a reader. But whoever this person here is that is on your mind, they are definitely looking forward to this opportunity here with you. They've already somehow fail for you in a way that you may not is aware of here all right and i feel like because all they was looking for in the past was just someone to genuinely uh, appreciate them and just love them or like them or be with them you want to say for just who they are so i feel like they've been able to see that or at least feel that way with the cup water element here they are able to feel that way and they maybe never felt that way before all right and this person is definitely watching you okay you see that eye right there yeah they're watching okay so let's see how you feel here scorpio about this person here let's see how do you feel about the person here that is on your mind wow scorpios i love it definitely if you love it hit that like button scorpios that'd be very much appreciated where is Scorpio at in this reading here today? How does Scorpio feel about the person here that is on their mind? Tell me how does Scorpio feel about this person here, Spirit? Thank you. How does Scorpio feel about this person here that is on their mind? Wow, we have the Queen of Wands. You're ready to take action towards this person here. You find this person very attractive here as well. You love how confident that this emperor here is or empress here is towards their, you know, just who they are, okay? Even though you may know that this person has been through a lot here, but you love how they are still themselves at the end of the day and their genuine selves at that, which is just love, okay? So, wow, I love this connection or definitely the potential of it here. I do see a great connection between you two and definitely I like this person that is on your mind, okay? Wow, Scorpios, I love it, I love it. Definitely if you love it again, like, subscribe, and we would love to have you here a part of our soul family. And if you would love your full readings, come on over to Patreon where you get your full readings as well all right thank you so much scorpios Mwah. wow i definitely wish you two the best that was beautiful scorpios saggies come on in archers what are you up to shout out to my archers in the building gang gang shout out to the beautiful patreon family and the evolving spirits and the only fan souls thank you so much for definitely continuing to support the platform here i appreciate you all right shout out to everyone in the chat hit that like button like 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 hit the like button love show some love let's get the messages out to who needs the messages by putting the video in the algorithm by hitting the like button all right that help get the messages out for everyone all right, archers, let's get you a timestamp here and let's see about the person here that is on your mind, Sagittarius. Yes, let's see what we can find out about this person here that is on your mind. What do we have for my Sagittarius? Welcome back, Sagittarius. Welcome to your wake in tarot. Today's topic here for you, Sagittarius, is the person on your mind. Yes, let's see about the person here that is on your mind. What about this person here that is on Sagittarius' mind here? Some of you all, this person could be a counselor here, Sagittarius, that is on your mind. Or this is someone who has decided to leave someone from their past here. Yeah, because it, be it came very overwhelming for this person here, okay? And because of that, this is a situation here where they've come to a breaking point. Okay, they now realize that I've been through this with this person could even been over nine times here or nine months or nine weeks or even fucking nine years for some of you all where they've tried to make this relationship here work. All right. This is why I feel like this person is now deciding to move forward and remove themselves from a relationship or some type of commitment that they were in here in the past. Again, this person could be a water sign here. All right. Uh, oh, water sign. Well, I wanted to say fire sign. Okay. Some of y'all, this person may be a water sign, Sagittarius. This could be a Cancer here, a Pisces, or a Scorpio for water signs. But we do have the nine of ones is fire element, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius energy here as well. Others of you all, 
this person here could be an earth sign here. This is Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo energy here. Someone wants to be in a space where they can put and get the same energy as giving even exchange here. So whoever this person here that is on your mind here, their main concern is that if they put in the effort, the love in this relationship, they're going to want you to do the same. Yeah. King of Wands, taking action, okay? They feel like the relationship that they had in the past, it wasn't giving even exchange or when they put in action, when they will put in the work and the effort, this was not done or reciprocated here. So this is their main concern. This is their main, um, you know, maybe wants or needs that they will want to have or love in a relationship here. So I feel like this person sees that in you, all right? They love how confident you are. All right, and how you take action behind things that you maybe do or say you're going to do here, okay? And others of you all, Sagittarius, this person could be a Leo here with the King of Wands. Yeah, we have the Sun card here. I just mentioned Leo and then the Sun card comes out, okay? Very significant there. Some of y'all, this person could definitely be a Leo here. But they are very much remaining positive about this offer and opportunity here with you. They just want to be able, again, to be with someone that's genuine going to appreciate them and where they don't have to look over their shoulders okay so let's see how you feel about this person here Sagittarius as we close out your reading here today wow archers definitely if the reading here so far has resonated for you don't forget to like all right subscribe if you're new here we would love to have you part of our soul family and if you would love four readings come on over to patreon where I do provide four readings for all the zodiac signs as well all right, so let's see where you're at, Sagittarius, in this reading here. Let's see how you feel about this person here that is on your mind, okay? Wow, we have here, whoa, the Three of Swords. Oh, poor little Tink Tink here, Sagittarius. So you may still be hurt in a situation, rather, if it was from this person that we just discussed here that is on your mind or someone from your past that hurt you and you're still trying to heal and overcome that relationship or, you know, building yourself back up to a point where you're able to be emotionally available. I feel like you may not be there or maybe just not in the space right now to love or just open up to love. You may more focus on yourself right now spiritually and your career. All right, but I do see your energy showing up as a three of swords. So this may be someone that you still is hurt behind or still trying to figure out what happened between you two in the past to be where you're at now. All right, so let's clarify this three of swords energy here as we close out for you, Sagittarius. Tell me more about this three of swords energy here. Yeah, you're kind of being indecisive about this person here. You kind of know, right, if this person broke your heart or someone from your past, you just want to make sure that this relationship here is well. It's like you both are wanting to make sure a lot, okay? It's because you both been through a lot, right? So it's kind of like you may have one foot in the door with this person and one foot out because you may feel like you don't know everything. And because you've been hurt here maybe several times here, Sagittarius, in your past here, you're kind of the same way where you're trying to find balance here this is your energy Sagittarius you're trying to find peace and get back to Sagittarius before you can even open up for love but some of y'all feel like damn I don't want to miss out on this offer at the same time but again I'm trying to balance you see how she has one foot here one foot on the earth or the ground and she has one foot up and she has one foot down so it's a lot of trying to balance yourself being back in a mental physical and spiritual place here to be willingly to be open to receive okay so i love the fact that you both are very concerned about the same thing so maybe you two haven't communicated this with each other sagittarius i feel like you two need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation so this could be addressed and you two can both move past this because you both clearly have wounds that are still open from a relationship or someone who have hurt you in the past. And I feel like that it helped both of you all in this relationship or kind of even helping each other to heal through this here and being enlightened 
to each other, okay? Wow, archers, that was so sweet in the deep reading there. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. Definitely if that resonated for you, archers. Don't forget again to like, subscribe. We would love, love to have you here, part of our soul family. And if you would love to have your full readings done, come on over to Patreon where I do provide full readings for all the zodiac signs, all right? Thank you so much, archers. Mwah. Wow, Sagittarius. I love it. I definitely wish you the best in that situation, all right? Follow your intuition. Capricorns, come on in. Goats, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I hope all has been well, Capricorns. I can't get that to straighten up for nothing there. And that is just definitely going to bother me, goats. Okay, let me fix that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's a little better. All right. All right, goats. Let's see what we have here for you. Shout out to everyone in the chat and everyone that has come in on the reading here for all Zodiac sign readings. Definitely hit that like button, please. That'd be very much appreciated. Hit the like button, loves, as you all come in, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, goats, let's get you a timestamp here and let's see about the person on your mind. Show some love, goats. Hit the like button so we can get a positive message here for you today. All right, what do we have for my Capricorn? Welcome back, Capricorn. Welcome to your wake in tarot. Today's topic here for you, Capricorn, is the person on your mind. Yes, let's see about the person here, Capricorns, that is on your mind here. Wow, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Some of y'all, this person here that is on your mind, they're wanting to establish a family here with you. This is someone that wants commitment or they want to settle down here with you. All right, you two may find yourself blending families with each other here as well. Others of you all, Capricorns, this person may be an earth sign like yourself. They could be a Taurus, a Virgo here, or a Capricorn here. Let's see what else about this person regarding the person that is on your mind. Wow, the death card here, okay? This is Scorpio energy here, Capricorn. Some of y'all, this person here may be a Scorpio. I feel like whoever this person here was, some of y'all, this is someone that you established a relationship here with once before, or this could have been the mother or the father of your child here. But this is someone now that is not in the same space or energy here, Capricorn, that they were in once before in the past or when they were in a relationship here with you. This person had to definitely pull off this skin or pull off this mask of who they may have been in this relationship here and i feel like once you may have capricorn brought to this person's attention and you may have told this person that you know you're not being real you're not being honest with yourself you're not being genuine here i feel like all of these at first were trigger words for this person because you had to bring this out i feel like or bring this to this person's knowledge here but i feel like whatever type of conversations or maybe even disagreements and arguments that you had here this person may have reflected on some of the things that you said and i'm sure you have as well but whatever has been transpired between you two Capricorn in the past, it is now have been put to an end. So that's the good news here is that this person here, you know, it took this relationship here, unfortunately, for this person to be awakened in their spirit and to recognize that maybe the things that they were doing or saying or, you know, bringing to this relationship was not who they were and was not healthy for this relationship here so because of that someone here has definitely done some healing and some soul searching and definitely or now in their authentic self i mean it doesn't get any authentic to that you're down to the bones here okay so you're going to be who you are regardless okay and that's what this energy regarding the person here that is on your mind how they feel right now so wow let's see how you feel here capricorn let's see how you feel towards this person here right now let's see where is capricorn at in this reading here how does capricorn feel about the person here that is on the their mind wow capricorns definitely if it's resonating for you goes hit that like button loves that'd be very much appreciated here tell me more for capricorn tell me more about this energy here and how does capricorn feel where's capricorn at how does capricorn feel about this person again this could be a water sign here or an earth sign here for some of you all goats 
Wow, we have the King of Wands. So you're ready, okay? You're confident in this person. You know this person here is now who they truly are within themselves, okay? So you could see this now, the truth of this person, okay? Because again, you already seen the truth in this person. And when you could kind of feel intuitively that this person energy was off here. So I feel like you may just, you know, kind of outspokenly said it without realizing you said it here. But by you doing that, it been able to change your perspective of the relationship here. So much is so that you're ready to take action here, being in the King of Wands energy here towards this relationship because now you could see the potential and how this relationship here could flourish okay wow goats oh my goodness i love it i love it i love it definitely if you love it goats again don't forget to like like subscribe we would love to have you here capricorns a part of our soul family and definitely be sure to adjust your notification bells for when i go live on this platform and if you would love your full readings come on over to patreon as well that link is down below in the description box for all the zodiac signs readings i do individual full readings as well on patreon all right thank you so much ghosts i look forward to the next reading for you Mwah. oh that was so sweet goats oh you guys get me so emotional okay come on in aquarius welcome welcome aquas come on in aqua let's see about the person on your mind Welcome to everyone that's coming in. Please be sure to hit that like button, loves, as you all come in. Again, that'd be very much appreciated. Hi, Aquarius. Welcome, Aquarius. Come on in. Let's go ahead and get you a time to stamp your Aquarius. And let's see about this person here that is on your mind, Aquarius. Let's see what you need to know here. Yes, hit that like button, loves. Thank you. That'd be very much appreciated, as always. What do we have for my Aquarius? Welcome back, Aquarius. Welcome to your wake in tarot. Today's topic here for you today, Aquarius, is the person on your mind. Yes, let's see about the person here, Aquarius, that is on your mind. Show me the energy here for the person that is on Aquarius' mind. What do Aquarius need to know about this person? What is some details or what is something here that needs to be brought up in tarot land here, spirit, that Aquarius needs to know about this person that is on their mind? Show me this person's energy here for Aquarius. Wow, we have the death cards here, Aquarius. This is a Scorpio energy here for me as a reader. Some of you all, Aquarius, this person here is a Scorpio or a water sign here, all right? But something here in the past had, had happened unexpectedly in this person's life here where I feel like this may was what was needed to happen in order for this person to move forward here. That's what I'm also picking up intuitively about this person here that is on your mind wow yeah and because of whatever this is that happened to your aquarius it has really upset some people here oh my goodness aquarius okay hit that like button aquarius let's get into this if it's resonating for you so far show some love hit the like button thank you that'd be very much appreciated here aquarius now this is your element here, however. Some of y'all, this person could be an air sign like yourself. They could be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. But again, whatever here that happened in the past for your person here, it was out of their control. They didn't have any controls over it. As you can see, this is the divine hands here, okay? This is something that has been illustrated or orchestrated by the divine. And I feel like because of that, these people up here are upset or feel like your person here has something to do with that. So these people may feel like that they're in competition with this person or this could be an ex here of yours, Aqu Aquarius, or an ex of theirs that is trying to intervene, I feel like, with this relationship that you two have or trying to um, distract your person here or block them from coming towards you in some type of shape, way, or fashion here. Someone is doing something, I feel like, in a very immature way because that it's not going their way. So whatever the divine stepped in and 
did to stop a situation here. Someone got upset about that. Someone may have tried to plan something towards your person here to intervene or to stop them from coming towards you is what I'm picking up here intuitively. And because it didn't work, because of this tower situation here, now this person is pissed, okay? Wow. Let's clarify this Five of Swords energy here, Aquarius. Oh my goodness. Yes, like, like, get this message out to your fellow Aquarians. I mean, they need to hear this, okay? Let's clarify the Five of Swords here for Aquarius. What is this? What happened, Spirit? The Nine of Cups, yo ass. Aquarius is what the fuck happened, okay? With your sexy ass here. You step outside, you're getting fresh air, you're stopping shit, you're making people look, okay? And some people is getting jealous of that. They want you to take your ass back in the house, Aquarius, okay? Some of you all, again, this person could be a water sign. Look, I have to bring in some type of... um humor into this situation because it's a little fucked up we could be wanting to whoop some ass right now but we're not going to do that Aquarius we're going to keep being this beautiful loving nurturing and caring skin that you're in okay and this is why I feel like this person is eager for some of you all to come towards you because all this drama all this chaos here this person is overwhelmed with this they just want peace and they see with you that you give them this peace you give them that wishful fulfillment energy here okay unlike what they experienced here from their past all right wow aquarius i got to see where you're at in this energy here or this reading today let's see where you're at in this reading let's see how you feel Let's see what you want to say to this person right now and how you feel about the person here that is on your mind. I love it. I love it. I love it, Aquarius. Yes. Let's see here. Let's see where is your energy at and how do you feel here about the person that is on your mind. Show me Aquarius energy here, please. How does Aquarius feel about this person here? How does Aquarius feel about this person? Wow. Yeah, this is why people are upset. All right, you have a lot of eyes on you as well. I never even noticed that there was a freaking eye inside of the pentacle here. But there you go. And some of you all might didn't know that this person was watching you here. All right, that wanted to bring you this offer or this pentacle here, okay? I feel like the divine has been protecting you guys as well because, again, there are a lot of eyes. In every picture here just about, there is an eyeball, okay? And I definitely didn't notice that one. So that could be very significant here as well. Others of you all, this person could be an earth sign here, Aquarius. This could be a Capricorn here, all right, a Virgo or a Taurus here with the Ace of Pentacles. But the way you feel about this person is you're ready for it. You know the potential of this person and what you two can manifest or establish together. And other people know this as well. It's why they're trying to take a stab at it, okay? Wow, Aquarius. Oh my goodness, that was a beautiful message and reading there for you today. Definitely if that resonated for you regarding the person on your mind, again, like, like, subscribe. We would love to have you here, a part of our soul family. And if you would love to get four readings, come on over to Patreon where I give four readings for all the zodiac signs here as well all right thank you so much aquarius and i definitely look forward to the next reading for you all Mwah. wow oh that was so sweet it was a lot going on but it was like the ending was so sweet okay thank you so much aquarius pisces come on in loves how are you pisces i hope all is well come on in my mates what's good fishes How's my fishes doing? Yes, come on in, hit that like button, loves. That'd be very much appreciated. Shout out to everyone in the chat. Thank you so much. Please be sure to hit that like button, all right? Let me pause for the calls, all right? I appreciate everyone that has been in here, that has tuned in today, that has listened in this evening, all right? Also, be mindful of the energy what we're wanting to bring into the messages and what we all are trying to manifest here so to help that to reach its goal hit the like button 
all right so that way as humanity as the community here we're all helping each other out it's just about all of us that comes in here around the same time every day all right for these readings here so show some love i'm here showing up for you hit that like button and show up for me And thank you for the ones who have already shown love and hit the like button. I appreciate you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pisces. Let's go ahead and thank everyone in the chat. Let's go ahead and say the best for last. And let's see about the person that is on your mind. Let's get you a timestamp here, Pisces. What do we have for my Pisces? Welcome back, Pisces. Welcome to your Awake in Tarot. Today's topic here for you, Pisces, is the person on your mind. Yes, let's see about the person on your mind here. What do you need to know about the person on your mind? What do Pisces here need to know about the person here that's on their mind? What do Pisces need to know about the person that is on their mind? Show me this person's energy here, please. Hi, loves. Welcome, welcome. Hit the like button, loves, as you all come in, please. It'll be very much appreciated. Thank you. Wow. We have the two of cups here, Pisces. Well, well, well. Someone is falling in love with you or you're falling in love with this person that is on your mind. Okay, this could be a water sign like yourself. This could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. Tell me more about this person that's on Pisces' mind. Oh, and they watching you too, honey. Okay, they're definitely trying to see how they're going to come towards you. Maybe how they're going to offer you this cup here or how they're wanting to connect here with you. Okay, so some of y'all, this could be someone new. All right, that's wanting to get to know more about you. So they're watching you. They're kind of wanting to learn about you as well. I'm picking up here. So this person is very interested in you. Okay, they're wanting to actually take out the time to get to know you and learn some things about you and maybe things that you like and things that you don't like. That's how you know this person really is wanting to connect here with you, Pisces, okay? Some of y'all, this person here may be an air sign here as well, Pisces, with the Page of Swords energy here, or Princess of Swords, all right? We got here Aquarius, Gemini, and a Libra energy here as well, Pisces, okay? But you definitely have a water or an air sign here that is observing you here because they want to find out more about you. They like what they see. They enjoy being around your energy here. And I feel like this person, you make them really happy here. Okay. Wow. Yeah, we got the three of ones here. This is something that they've always manifested. They've been very patient about this. And they kind of feel like with meeting you that this is what they manifested. Or they feel like that this is worth waiting for. Or this was, thank you, spirit, were waiting for okay so this relationship with you and this person this person feel like it was worth the wait all right this person here you know they now know their worth so they're like i'm gonna wait for the right person to come in in the meantime i'm gonna meditate here wait for these ships here in the background to come in and be patient okay and i feel like as you two may have connected here lately here in the past up until now this person is like okay let me learn some more things about pisces let me make sure while i'm still in my energy here and being patient for what comes my way let me see about doing some research here on pisces okay wow that's what i'm picking up here for you so far for this person here that is on your mind so let's see how you feel pisces yes before we close out here we gotta see how you feel about the person on your mind right it wouldn't be right if we did not ask okay so let's see where you're at with this person here where is pisces at in this reading here okay wow pisces definitely if it's resonating again for you so far hit that like button pisces it'd be very much love appreciated here let's see where is this energy going here with pisces and this person how does pisces feel about this person show me how does pisces feel about this person here as well that's on their mind how does pisces feel about this person that is on their mind here oh oh this card jumped out oh my goodness 
you're falling in love with this person as well, Pisces. You have love towards this person as well. Okay, look how she's offering her cup. She literally has gotten off her throne and offered a cup, okay? So this is definitely someone that you have in mind, dear, okay? The Queen of Cups talks about unconditional love, okay? And so this is something I feel like on how you two are both connecting just by genuine love towards each other or just being genuine to each other here, Wow, Pisces. Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful reading here. All right. Again, if the message has if the message has resonated for you, get this message out to your other Pisceans, okay, by hitting that like button. They need to know this, okay? Because you two is not going to be able to keep your hands off of each other here. There is a lot of love here to go around for you two, okay? Wow, Pisces. Thank you so much, loves, for coming out and tuning in today. I definitely appreciate your love, your support, your comments down below. I see you. I hear you. I appreciate you. And if you would love four readings done by me, come on over to Patreon where I post all the readings for all 12 zodiac signs. There are four readings. So if you would love to get your four readings done, I now do Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio readings as well on Patreon, all right? Thank you so much, Pisces. I appreciate you, and I definitely look forward to see where their energy goes next with you too, all right? I wish you two the best, my loves. Mwah. Oh, that was so sweet. Oh. That was so sweet. Oh, my goodness. All right. Shout out to you all for coming in and shout out to the evolving spirits and shout out to the Patreon family. I just love each and every one of you all. Oh, my goodness. I definitely got to go back and check some of the Zodiac signs on this reading here today. OK, and shout out to you all who have come in. Shout out to the Soul Tribe. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. I hope you all are enjoying the content. And if you're new again and you would love to come over and join the content with us where you get four readings for each zodiac sign, you also get private live streams with me behind scenes for free questions. Yes, I do offer all my beautiful Patreon family members free questions so that way we can always tap in here and there and see what messages or questions that you have for yourselves. You also get daily content there on ways to spiritually, mentally, and emotionally evolve. And you also get to have more of a one-on-one -on -one experience with me, okay? I do show my face on camera there as well. And you also get readings with me on camera, all right? So definitely that's something that you're interested in. You would love to have to see and have access again to all the readings here on the channel here through the All Zodiac Sign readings. If you have a particular sign that you would love to get the full reading on, I again post all my readings on Patreon now, all right? So thank each and every one of you all. I definitely look forward to the next All Zodiac Sign readings. Thank you so much, loves. Mwah. Bye-bye.